Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about what are the things we need to know before we start a AutoCAD drawing. First thing we know about the template. How to choose a template. We are going to learn each and every command including template elaborately in following videos. Now we are going to see about basic things only. In first we are choosing a template. There are basically two units we are using all over the world. Metric and inches. Here ACAD is a inches template. ACAD ISO is a metric template. Wherever you saw a ISO, everything is a metric only. Wherever they mention a ISO unit, it's a metric unit only. So I am going to start a drawing using a metric unit. I mean AutoCAD ISO. Once I enter into the drawing environment, means first thing I used to do is to check a add a unit. So here is a drawing unit tab. In this we used comma already I told you I choose the metric template. So all of the basic units belong to metric only in this template. So each and every settings and units are defaultly arranged into a metric format, a ISO format. In metric, millimeter is the basic unit in this one if you want you can choose whatever you unit you please but in this iso unit millimeter is the basic things after i enter my unit next thing i used to enter is a limit limits i used to set a space of environment for here I am choose the basic one only but basically why we using limit means to modify the environment in future videos we are going to see about limit elaborately so from that video you can learn everything about the limits after I mentioned the limit I am going to start the unit I mean I am going to start the drawing so before I am going to start a drawing we used to know what are the basic input methods. There are three basic input methods in AutoCAD. In this first method is command method in this method we are going to enter each and every command in the command prompt it's basically originate from javascript so we used to command each and every time manually for example I want to create a line means I used to give the command line so I can create a line in olden times we used to enter uh, two set of command or I mean in if you want to enter a line command means you used to enter L only if you want to enter copy means CO CO is a copy command and CP also a copy command because everything based on commanding only. If you don't the command shortcut key means it suffers many things because if a command spelling if you don't know means for example we take a polyline or polygon if you don't know the spelling means it's hard to type it or find the particular command in the command prompt nowadays it became very easy because if we enter the first letter means we can get the series of commands start from that 
particular letters so it's easy for us to now using the command prompt even though command prompt method i mean the command method is the olden type many experts are using command methods only nowadays because it's easy to work and it's accurate then we can give the command very faster before a mouse move into the command images okay next method is toolbar and third one is main menu this both method is only applicable for old version we can say autocad classic in next video i am going to teach you how to create autocad classic environment so for example this is a autocad classic environment so you can see many tabs and main menu bar here also but in new autocad te templates or new autocad softwares we can't find a classical environment after 2014 starting from 2015 version they stopped classical version you can see 2014 is the last known classical version edition software only so that's the only reason many people using 2014 nowadays also many old autocad draftman using 2014 because it's have classical version in next video i am going to teach you how to create a classical environment in the autocad 2020 software okay so in this the fourth command method or i mean fourth input method was reborn combining this toolbar and main menu it's called ribbon this tab is called a ribbon it combined with tabs and main menu bars so it's easy to access compared to uh, older version main menu bars because it shows principal commands in larger uh, images icons premature i means low level commands in a hidden arrow marks if you want to go to a style means they mention a arrow mark hmm? angled so if you click this means it directly go to its styles for annotations or dimensions or leaders we can easily click this arrow and go to their styles so what i recommend is we need to know a little knowledge of older version and we full fledgedly ready to learn the new version because in future they going to stop every older version or old commanding props because each and every time autocad re releasing a new version they adding the commands or it cut and paste format only they adding its above and above and above so each and every year autocad file size is increasing so in future if they want to reduce the file size means they used to erase older version i mean classical unwanted commands or unwanted tabs it occupy the spaces okay so it's just for your knowledge you is to know about these things in next video i am going to teach you detailly how to create a classical version in autocad 2020 okay next thing you need to know about autocad before you start is the command methods for example the command showing you where to fix a first point i can whether using this mouse as a dynamic or i can enter the particular space 
we can see about this thing detail in the following videos okay now i am going to tell about it simply so i am fixing my first point it asking what is your next point line specify next point or undo you can see this bracket right inside this bracket whatever it comes it's called options whatever comments you give whatever it showing in this box is called a uh, optional here they showing the what you want to give the input in radius or diameter so that's why diameter is the optional that why it's showing this kind of bracket square bracket next thing you want to know about bracket is angle bracket whatever comes inside this bracket is called default value mainly whatever it showing is a value only it's a numerical value for example if i want to create a circle means i used to enter a specific diameter for example here i am giving 100 radius so i am going to create multiple of 100 radius means i again give a circle i am clicking it whatever the value i mentioned last time it shows in the default i no need to enter that same value here just i press enter means the particular default value is occupied with the diameter sizes okay so how many times i want it i can just press enter no need to enter the particular value so these are the basic things you need to know before you start a autocad drawing before you going to learn about each and every command briefly if you like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you so much